of something. You know, we, we, we get caught in perceptual echo chambers just as we do in social media echo chambers. And the only way to get out of an echo chamber is to realise that you're in one. And it does strike me, if we're using ChatGPT every day and it's being really motivational like this, what is it doing to us? It's been super friendly, everybody's so interested. It's what's next, that's what the name is about. There's the breadth of different ideas coming. Understanding what the digital means for the physical world is just more important than ever. It's super important that we get different voices to the table and not only stay in our bubble all the time. Our health and that of the planet depends on us remembering where we came from. Next is an amazing experience. It's thought-provoking, it's mind-expanding, it's a lot of food for thought. Music and art and all that, the point of it is to not use artificial intelligence, to form like a human connection. Interact with other people, artists, designers, scientists to get new ideas, to change your perspective. The progressiveness of being able to be flexible for what's to come. Let's get physical. I mean, it's great that we can connect again. It's really nice to get everything into the physical world back again. Not to forget that this is also part of our life. Okay, come on. Are you ready? Well, that works spectacularly well. I think we are at the crossroads of, you know, a very technological future which needs to be shaped today in order to be okay for everybody in the future. But bear it in mind, put it at the heart of your understanding of the apparently chaotic change that is happening now. Constantly refer back to this underlying thought, the merger of the realm of bits and the realm of atoms. There's so much inflation in uh, the culture of innovation. So I like the idea that we're always thinking about physical value. We have to get back in touch with our bodies uh, and then we can make AI work for us instead of it making the decisions on our behalf.